Hi, I'm Dr. Dipali Bharadwaj and let's discuss something very important today because you need to understand one fact for sure. Skin care alone cannot cure chronic illnesses. Yes, every chronic illness will have some component of inflammation. Well, what is inflammation? Inflammation is of two types, acute or chronic. Acute means which is for a short time, which is there in the body. You get an acute inflammation and you sort out. The disease is over. It could be fever. It could be a mosquito bite. It could be a small term disorder or a disease. Inside, outside, either ways. Chronic is something which has lasted in our body for more than six months. So there is definitely a component of inflammation. What is inflammation still? Inflammation is the body's autoimmune response. It's the immunity response of the body which is done by WBCs, our fighter cells. In chronic inflammations, there is a chronic inflammation. There is a constant attacking in the body which is leading to more inflammation. And if we do not deal with the underlying chronic inflammation, it leads to disorders. Disorders are like uh, heart diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, cancer maybe. Obesity, yes, obesity can also happen because of chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation inside the body can trigger premature graying, acne, psoriasis, eczemas, various pigmentation, various autoimmune pigmentary disorders are known to happen because of chronic inflammation somewhere inside the body. So as a dermatologist with over 13 years of experience, I have learned that just treating outside skin is not going to help. You need to watch what you eat and that's where you're going to get wonders. That's where you can actually have a radiant, clean skin, detox skin, detox body equal to detox skin and great uh, visage and, you know, of course, better health. Let's learn foods which cause inflammation. Most importantly, refined sugars. Yes, those chocolates, those aerated drinks, carbohydrates, cheese, dairy, which is, you know, um, uh, very well processed uh, or, uh, you know, high trans fats is definitely with refined sugars. All those things will lead to chronic inflammation in the body. Well, fried foods, potatoes, finger chips, all those things which we find very tasty, samosas, those things which we all, pakoras, which we all eat during winters with high uh, oil content in it is again going to lead to inflammation inside the body. Smoking, stress, uh, alcohol, excessive alcohol, of course, not just if you're, you know, drinking very minimalistically is good, but excessive alcohol can also lead to chronic inflammation inside the body. Refined carbohydrates, bread is a very common cause of leading to chronic inflammation. Now, let's understand foods which actually reduce inflammation in the body. Well, foods like avocado, olive oil, dry fruits, particularly nuts, the walnuts and the pine nuts are excellent. Pecan nuts also are excellent to reduce the inflammation in the body. Green leafy vegetables are a great source of reducing uh, inflammation. But again, those green leafy vegetables are not cooked into Punjabi style or deep fried. They have to be baked, boiled, grilled. That's when they're going to reduce the inflammation. Anything red, yellow, green and purple, those four colors which are rich in antioxidants, again have the power to reduce inflammation in diet but again baked boiled or grilled so you cannot really make bengan bharata and think you've eaten bengan because that's only for taste it's not reducing inflammation where else uh, whereas you know the baked aubergines the baked bengan is what's something that you're supposed to eat so basically going to mediterranean diet lesser cooked diet food which is lesser on the gas or stove is actually going to be more healthy for you in reducing inflammation reducing aging reducing chronic illnesses reducing all those eczemas psoriasis flares that you're suffering from and visiting dermatologist if you're not doing the diet correct just applying all these topical lotions and eating medicines is only going to worsen the things you need to break the cycle you need to believe that body is one unit you need to work on it inside out and outside in along with it if you have any of the skin disorders or if you don't want to have a skin disorder then you must watch us today here and understand these food habits and incultivate them along with good hydration for adults four to five liters of water is needed throughout the year don't think you need only water during summer summer or winter both the times you need equal amount of waters that's what the body needs for skin if you want to reduce inflammation having curd and diet besides the other things we spoke is really going to help if you have redness irritation inflammation you know if you get irritated skin if you get those kind of allergies it's a good idea to use number one a translucent soap or a liquid soap to take a bath Number two, hydrate your body. Uh, besides eating and drinking what we spoke, you need to hydrate the body from outside. So any oil, be it jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, almond oil, 
coconut oil, even sarso oil, sesame, anything is okay. A few drops of it with water you should put on your whole body after the shower at least uh, two or three times a week. That's really going to help hydrate the skin and reduce the inflammation levels also. Uh, applying curd, if you have redness somewhere, uh, if you have a sensitive skin, it's a good idea to just apply curd or, you know, apply eyes and then apply curd and keep it on for five minutes and wash it off. Using simple face packs with turmeric base, you know, homemade base uh, packs which are having curd, which are having a fuller's earth, multani, miti, is also going to soothe your skin and soft your skin and make it more healthy. So all these, you know, all these lifestyle changes is definitely going to help you reduce the chronic inflammation, reduce those chronic skin disorders which are happening because of inflammation in the body and going to help you lead a more healthier, radiant life with good skin. So please stay tuned with us and do in your comments below, tell me, ask me questions so that I can come up with interesting topics for you. Stay tuned with us exclusively on The Print, Dr. Dupali Bharadwaj.